all right welcome back to another grease monkey video live stream thank you for joining me who's ever in the chat please let me know so i can shout you out and i think susan should be here right susan's my my regular here uh well welcome to this live stream i'm gonna be doing some modeling uh in 3d but i got this new tablet with a screen on it that i definitely want to be testing out for uh for grease pencil and drawing i already feel a lot better drawing with it since before i was drawing without a screen which is still good but this definitely changes uh, the whole dynamic of like drawing so really excited to do that so i'll probably work on this scene the sci-fi scene for a little bit uh if you guys don't know um oh susan uh hope you had a great christmas hope you had a great christmas xmas uh how was your time during the last few days was it nice it's uh, you, you're in summer right now right so you have do you, you you guys have like hot hot christmases oh anyway so i'll be working on this scene in uh 3d and then i'll be working in 2d with this tablet because i think it's a lot very cool <laughs> very cool so we'll we'll do that we'll get into that afterwards so um yeah thanks for joining me whoever is in there let's see well i hope you had a good a good summer christmas you know did you did you did you get everything that you wanted did you did you get any gifts what type of gifts did you get if you got any gifts i have to keep looking down here for my chat maybe i can put it in a place where I can see it. Maybe. Hold on. Tasmania. Such a fun country name. Well, there's my chat. Can I put this like to be on top all the time? Probably not. Oh my god. I can't move it. There you go. Ah, oh, you got a tablet too? Susan, twinsies, we did it. We're in the tablet game now. We're we're in it, you know? It's gonna it's gonna upgrade our a whole a whole shtick. Oh man, I'm still setting up here. Can you see me? Hold on. I'm not even sure. Oh you can. Oh. I think it's a little off centered. Oh, there you go there we go okay cool 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 let me move my screen to yeah the tablet's like the best thing to ever happen to like computer and drawings like it is awesome oh my god oh sweet jesus okay ah all right so here we go we're gonna dive in we got our beautiful scene going on i had to redo the whole scene i used this uh plugin called decal machine and that's how i'm making all these cool nifty nifty little um textures and, and stuff on here let's see what with the lighting so you guys can see it oh well, that's a sci-fi scene if i ever did see one looking beautiful all right let me make sure my phone's in the right place okay all right just i think it's just us two today susan i think there may be somebody in there in the chat i see somebody's in there please if you have any questions uh, while you're here while you're watching please feel free to ask feel free to chat talk to me this makes it much more interesting if we talk and we chat while i while i do my my nitty gritty work. Some of this work could be, can be a little bit nitty gritty. So, um, okay. So let's go, let's go, let's go. So I have to make some doors on the side here. And I have to, I wanna texture this hallway. Let's see if I can see it in camera. There we go. Well, it's looking, got this hallway up here. Got this man just sneakily being in a corner. I don't know. Anyway, so 
This is the corridor coming up from the... This base is basically in a canyon. So it's going deeper and deeper into... Into it. So let's see. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, and then I have to make sure I get more angles in the this this these lights up here, which are just emissions. This is just a bloom. I can take this bloom off. You'll see how like it just loses life. Boom. So now it's just regular without bloom. Bloom does so much for for this stuff. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. Uh, one second, guys. One second, Susan. I'll be right back. Ah. Okay. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. All right. What were we doing? What were we doing? Oh, okay. So we're going to make the door. We're going to do the hallway and we're going to go from there. And you'll see how easy this is. I got this this add on this works so well for this type of stuff. Hold on, let me. Thank you, Susan, for waiting for bearing with me. Are you working on anything today, Susan? Any 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 certain projects? Now that you got a tablet, I bet you're just testing that testing that thing out, right? Oh, man. Okay. Woo wee. Okay. So let's go. Uh, do I want to start the door or the hallway? I think I want to start the hallway first. But we will see. There's something about this rotation I don't enjoy. So I'm going to go into the settings and make it so it rotates around things I select. I think that's under navigation. Or input. Key map. Viewport. I used to know where this was. Interface. Editing. I just named them all. <laughs> ah, nice. A paper model and blender, huh? Do you use uh, you use textures, right, for, for the paper material? All right. Still looking for this setting. The trackball. Over and around selection. That's what I was looking for. So this in this option, whatever I select, it's gonna in the viewport. It's gonna make it so I can like orbit around it. Uh, and when I get to these big scenes, because this scene's huge, you guys don't realize, right? See, you guys, all you guys see is this, right? Which is this long corridor and stuff. But I have the actual place spot behind these doors. There, it's 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 like turned off. Let me turn it on. Let's see if it doesn't crash. Let me save it. Boom, we got this whole different facility on the other side, which has all this stuff in it. Liquid. And let me start this over. There we go. There you go. So yeah, this scene, this entire scene, this entire lab, I'm probably going to rework. I got like this new, uh, plug in and it just works so well to make a cool like sci-fi scene so i'll be probably redoing this uh, i like the purple and all this and all the colors so i'll definitely be working this gray material to match more of this purple feel that i got going on here which i really really enjoy um but yeah so anyway let me turn that lab off yeah it's connect yeah travis 
It's good to see you, Travis. Good to see you. Thank you for saying something in the chat. I appreciate it. It helps this become more fun. So yeah, so Travis, if you, you know, if you're paying attention now, so what I was working on before was I was working on this whole lab here and let me put it with the correct lighting. So this is like the lighting for it. And it's like somebody who's like running in, there's a crystal, this is an underground dungeon canyon thing or whatever. Uh, and uh, I'm working with somebody in the UK who's doing the 2D part, the animation part through to, to make the whole thing. So then, but before we, I started working on this first, but before uh, I needed to work on the first scene, I, this is like the second scene. So I started working on this scene. Let me turn off my main lab now. And now we got this scene where the three people are coming in and they're gonna be, uh, let me select this. There we go. Let me select this guy, there we go. So yeah, so we got these three dudes going in, they're running in and they're gonna, they want access to that crystal on the inside. Yes, yeah, Susan Travis is a is a buddy of mine, very very close friend. He's he's a good guy, Mister Mister Big Master, you know. Oh, and Travis, this is Susan. She's from Tasmania. She's my regular. sees me She sees me every Saturday, which is so nice for her to be here. Um, but uh, Susan's great. Susan's great. Travis great. I just got great people in my life. So thank you. Susan just had a, uh, she's in Tasmania, so her Christmas is summer, which is so funny because that's not like what a traditional Christmas is or whatever. I mean, at least what you see in the movies, not like there's a right or wrong Christmas or anything. Anyway, so I'm working on the sci-fi scene and I'm going to work on the hallway now. You can see that the hallway is barren. There is nothing, there's nothing in there. You know, it's all flat, no details. And I'm going to start adding the details that I get for the, like these details on the floor. And I'm going to work. And Travis says, dude, this looks uh, looks awesome. Well, thank you, Travis. It's it's getting there. This is uh, if you look at the channel, you can see how I made all of these. Like you, I, the whole process, it's, it takes so long to build out everything and make the crystals and do all this stuff or whatever. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, so let's let's start with making a doorway. I think that'll be the easiest for right now. Uh, and this is messing me up. Hold on. So we got to make the doorway here uh, on that side, and we'll start with the left side. So I'm gonna take care, uh, get rid of these crates. I'm gonna start disabling things, emptying out the room. So we'll take out the people. Uh, there's an option in here I turned on. I don't actually like it anymore. Now let's turn off the crates. Okay, so now we just got this room going on, which is kind of cool. And oops, let me put there we go. Okay, okay, cool. So let's make this room. Oh, and I also have these decals. Look how look how simple the door, not the door, the. Uh, Look how simple this room looks without the decals. It's just a gray nothing, you know? And the decals do so much for it on the walls, adding all the little details and stuff. So, okay, cool. So we got this going. And Travis, yeah, if, if you're still here, Travis, uh, what I'm doing is we're making an animatic. So like, you know, you know what an animatic is, kind of like the an a animated storyboard so this is kind of like i'm making the environment for the animated storyboard so we can then storyboard out a story with this guy uh spitfire storyboards from the uk great guy so he's going to be doing that anyway let's make this room and i'm going to make these decals non-selectable which they are and i'm going to start breaking apart this room and start adding the door so here's Here's the the door. We'll pick it. Oh, and Travis, if you're also paying attention, Blender's free. If you ever wanted to learn, get into like doing some 3D stuff, it is there is kind of a, a learning curve to it, but you can definitely just download Blender and just like fiddle around with it. You can even just open up other people's project files and like explore in the 3D space. It's very neat. It's very cool stuff. Anyway, so I'm gonna cut this room in half right now. This 
uh, wall is connected to the whole thing. But for the sake of this scene, hold on, let me save this as a V3 before I do anything crazy. Uh, let's do optimize to, let's do save it as a V3. Okay. Okay, so it's V3, just in case I mess this up. So uh, I'm going to detach this. So I press, I think, Y, and that detaches it. And now it's not part of it. And I do that because um, the the topology on this object, so all these blocks are connected, and it has to be kind of like precise grids. And since it's not going to be, it's going to mess things up. So I just separated it so I can just play with it on my own. And I'm going to make a door. So let me activate my people again so I can see how tall they are. So there they are, uh, and I'll make like a, a door here. So let me do it here. So oh, select the door, control R, that little yellow line shows me I'm breaking it. There we go. And then I'm going to bevel it. So control B, so that kind of like separates it like that. And I'm going to do it precisely. I think 0.5, nope. How about one? Nope, one. I think one is probably going to be good. And I just have to remember that so I can do it to the other side. Anyway, and then we cut it, cut it down here. So, like, let's see how tall this guy is. Let's, let's move him. Oops. Let's move him to the door so I can have some reference. Obviously, you can't see the door right now, but you will. Okay, cool. So he is not in the middle of the room. So let's move him. Okay, cool. So this door, I don't know, it could be like, so this is his normal height, right? We can bring it up here. And we'll probably make it a hexagon door because this is the big bolt bolted door on the, on the, on the back wall here. So it doesn't have to be that big i guess we can edit it later anyway i go to vertex mode choose my little dots and then i do i think it's control alt b or is it control shift b okay control shift b kind of breaks it up like this so so i could do some some hexagons there we go all right cool and then now i have this wall here that i can now get rid of um but i won't i'm gonna separate it and then move it forward <laughs> he's like invisible now okay so there's our door that's going it's going along i'm gonna have to figure out some some new decal stuff so i'm gonna get rid of this decal because you can't see that there's a hole in the wall so it's because the decals are covering it so where's our decals let me select it oh my god i can't select it hold on Let me unselect. So, da, da, da. Left. Nope. 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 Room. Left wall. Here it is. So let's make this invisible for now. And uh, Travis, if you have any questions, please, please ask. Because I'm just going to be talking about this nitty gritty stuff. So if you're curious about any of this stuff, please ask. It really helps me out at least what I'm thinking here. Okay, so what was I doing? So let's move this door away. So we can see the door. Okay, so there's our door. Um, And I think that that works out okay. Um, What I should have done, honestly, is connected it like a hallway. So that's what I'm going to do now. Should have did it in the beginning, but now I'll just connect it now. So I'm going to hit two, select, select uh, the lines that I want. These are the two and I hit F and it just connects them for me. So I'm like, boom, F, just hit F again. We'll just keep F in it, you know? Okay, hold on. Actually, I'm going to select the, the line here on the, on the edge, top edge, and then I hit F and I think it goes all the way around for me. Oh, I did it wrong. So we'll do this one.
Ooh, Susan, you sent me an email of the paper model you're working on. That's great. Susan, do, would you mind me sh showing it here or do you just want me to look at it? I want your permission. I don't want to show your work. Okay, cool. So we connected it into a hall. So that's looking pretty good. And now we can stretch this out, right? So as far as we want, right? Great. So then we got our we got our hallway going. It's not lit. I'm gonna light it up right now. Also, I'm gonna check my email, Susan. Oh, great, Susan. You you don't mind showing? Okay. Let me s s check my mail right now. One second, Susan. So what Susan's making, you're making, you said you're making a paper, a paper model, right? So this is like supposed to be like if it was into paper. So that's pretty neat. Oh, you got the transparency on there too. That's pretty cool. So are you, are you going to be like cutting this out? Like are you going to print this out and then cut it out? But very cool. Thank you for showing me. Oh, shoot. Where is it? Anyway, tell me what your angle with uh, that paper, this paper model is. I like it a lot. Is this a llama? An alpaca? I love llamas. Anyway, good stuff, Susan. Good stuff. All right. Let me go back to my chat. Can't see my chat right now. There we go. All right, so let's keep going. We got our door. We have to light it. So let me get into a scene where we can actually see what the hell we're doing. Okay, cool. So this looks a lot better. It doesn't have all the cool fancy lighting and stuff. So let's add in a light. So we're going to add in... Uh, we're just going to duplicate this light. Shift D. We'll grab it. Bring it down. Uh, and let's see what that lighting looks like. Cool. So we can see down the hall a little better. And I'm going to have to redo these decals because these decals are now blocking this doorway. So let me bring back the decals. Um, and let's do that. Yeah. Bring back the decals. You see that the decals are like going over it. It's not. No good. No good. So let's bring this back. So let's hide this one. Hide this one. And we'll hide this middle one. And then we'll just do some stretching on, on, the, on these other ones. Nice and alpaca. Is there is it for oh yes cutting uh Susan says yes cutting render to paper model then get uh my paper cutter to cut it and put it together by hand. That is so cool, Susan. So so what you do is you you, you get all the, the pieces and then you render each every and every single one and then you print it out and then you're gonna build out the paper model that you made in Blender, right? That's what you're you're doing. If that's so that's really awesome, and that's something that I didn't think about when using Blender. Uh, th th that's what you can do. So good stuff. I like it. Um, okay, so let's make this smaller. So, oops. So I'm going to go and do cursor to selected, which it's not, it's not going. There's the cursor. The cursor is a little, like lifesaver thing and i'm curious why my shortcut isn't working so let's take out our people we don't need our people anymore they're in our way now yes the add-on uh susan says yes the add-on is an add-on for to render your models from blender cool so there's an add-on that just does, that that does like a lot of that work for you so you can cut out so cool so do you you have like paper oh that's so cool that you could just like make like paper sets you could probably even do like stop motion with paper print it out do it on blender print it out and then like set it in it's amazing stuff um let's see what was i doing so let's go to the corner here we're gonna do cursor to select it that's in the corner and i do that because i want to put the origin there which it is and now i can scale it from active element scale it Oh, it's not scaling. Is it Y? Oh, it's Y. So I'll scale it in so I could just make it right there. I'll probably give the door a trim. So I'll probably, I'll do what, 0.8? That's probably the, the way to do it. And I'll do the same for this one. I'll go into edit mode. I'll do cursor to selected and origin to cursor. 
and then I'll scale it uh, on the Y to 0.8. And that gives me a nice trim. Can you, can you, can I even see that? Hold on. There it is. I think I can see it a little better. There it is. So those panels are looking pretty sweet for our door. Now we get to find something that matches up to the, the sides here, the size of the door. Uh, oh, and you said that the add-on is built in. What is the add-on called? Is it called paper something? Let's see. I'm just curious. Uh, paper. Paper? Is it paper? Export paper model. Huh? That's what it's called, Susan? That's really neat. It's built in the blender. Let me, I'm just curious about what this looks like real quick. For everybody. For everybody. See if they have any pictures. No pictures. Anyway, pretty neat. You can print out your paper models. paper model yes all right all right let's go let's continue let's try to add these elements to the wall and like i have the decal machine installed so i'll show you how i add these it's all built in so i hit d and i have all these i bought all these they're on blender market if you guys are curious but uh it's an add-on called uh decal machines right in the middle there so look let's look up some some cool ridges you can't really tell by these ridges here or these pictures but these things look cool so like I could do something like, see what this one looks like. And then we'll change the rotation. Nope, we will zero out the rotation and then rotate on the Y and then rotate on the Z 180 and rotate on the X 90. Okay, let's see what this looks like here on the, on the left. And I guess I can work, right? It doesn't have to be like super, just like two hatch panels. And I think this might might work out for me. Um, so. So yeah, so let's do that. And I want to line it up perfectly. So I'm going to choose uh, the decal, go into edit mode. I'll put the cursor to selected and I'll go to origin. I'm going to put the snapping on. I'm going to put it on the vertices and don't align, right? Because then what that's going to do is it, this vertice right here, it's going to like stick to this one when I move it. So watch. So let's do it like this. Boom. It's attached. Now, uh, I could probably add something here to make it, uh, I don't know, filled out. So we will. But for right now, I think that looks really good. Maybe I'll, I'll scale it. Let's see. Does it go too close to the rim here? Um, I guess that works. I guess I don't need to. That's. I'm got a ruler here, but I think that's pretty lined up. I think. Let me make sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's close enough. It's close enough. Okay, so let I'm gonna add it now to the right side. Piece of cake. I got the whole system down for it. So what I do is I duplicate it. So I hit shift D. I then go to edit mode and I move the origin or the cursor to the corner and then I move it to the origin. Oh no, I have a better way of doing this. I'm sorry. I just move the cursor here and then I select this one. I do cursor to selected. So cursor to selected. And I did it wrong. Let's go back. We're going to redo everything, guys. Okay, cool. Oh. Okay. Let's, let's try this again. It's so there. I duplicate it. Cursor to select it. And then a control M to mirror it, right? On the Y. There we go. Okay. So the door looks even even though it looks like it's more on this edge than that edge it's a little off doesn't matter it's fine uh then we're gonna put a panel up here at the top maybe like a grate or something i guess that would make sense hold on i gotta sneeze 
<laughs> Woo! Intense. Intense sneeze. Oh, I gotta sneeze again. This is, this is for you guys. <laughs> Okay, excuse me. Okay, cool. So let's uh, put the thing, put the decal in the middle. Uh, we'll do the same thing. I'll open up my decal menu. And I think I'll do a rectangular one would be probably the one. Maybe something simple that's not like too in your face. Or maybe it should be like a, a grade or something. So let's do this one. We'll rotate on the Y90. Nope, X, X, 90. Um, I will move the cursor here to the top and I will make it so it's vertices active. Trigvi, how's it going? Bless you. Bless you. How's it going, Trigvi? Thank you for joining. Thank you for being here. How does, how was your Christmas if you celebrate Christmas or, or, you know, how was your past few days is really what I want to ask. I don't know if this looks dumb. It kind of looks okay. I guess it looks fine. Like there would be a panel there and stuff. What I do need though is some stuff sticking out to make this look like an actual doorway. Uh, and I'll show you what I'll do that. I've got a couple tricks. Trick V. Merry Christmas. Did you get what you wanted for Christmas? What did you want? How was it? How cold was it? How hot was it? Please tell me. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to duplicate this uh, face. Uh, take off snapping. Look at this trick I got here, guys. We're going to move it forwards on the X. Bring it up to the, where the door would be. And I'm going to separate it. So I'm going to hit uh, P. And select the door. Figure out where this door is. So we'll call this room. Always name your layers. Room, left, wall, no, room, left, door. All right. So we named the door there, and I'll watch what we can do to add some trim. Right now it's covering it, but we're going to do something kind of cool. Let's see if it works. So I'm going to select the door. I'm going to extrude it, right? But instead of extruding it, I'm going to scale it up. So this is going to give me the trim that I want, and then I can erase the middle. So there's our trim. Uh, I think that works. We'll select the door. Faces. We'll do both faces. So there's our trim, which I think is looking good. Uh, and then we'll probably need to shorten it. So let's bring it up. Why can't I see it? Oh, it's because it's reversed. So we're going to have to rotate it. So to rotate it, I'm going to uh, make sure that I'm in bounding box. So I do bounding box. I hit rotate or R, Z on the 180. Oh my God, that's not what I wanted. Let's, let's set the origin to the center of the geometry. Now rotate it. There we go. And then we're going to give it a different color just so you can see it. You can barely see it here. You can kind of see it now. So let's give it a different color. So let's get the metal material. Erase the lights. Duplicate this. Call this door trim. Door trim. Trigby, grandmother has had a great Christmas. She has not been happy lately because of Corona. Oh, man, that sucks. But spending the holidays together has helped her. Well, I'm glad that that's, that's good. You know, I'm, there, is some, there, there is some light at the end of the tunnel here, hopefully. So uh, she didn't have Corona. Good. I'm glad she didn't, she didn't have it. That's a, that's a big deal. And Juraj, how's it going? How was your Christmas? How are you doing? How's life? How have you spent your Christmas? We're just sharing our Christmas stories right now. While I make this door, this door trim. Here. Okay, cool. So there's our trim. And I think I will now extrude this. And then you'll start seeing what I'm trying to do here. 
there we go. Oh, I hate that there's the lighting is all fucking bad. Okay, and then we're gonna. You can't see it because of the normal, so we'll flip. Not flip them. We will recalculate. There we go. Okay, there's our trim. We're getting some model in here. I'm trying to get that hexagon shape in. Okay, great. So that door's going, coming along. Also, you would trip over this door because of the bottom half. So we will make it just go into the ground. So I'm going to select the bottom and I'll select, select it all around, really. And then move it down. There we go. So now it's under the ground. You can't see it. The door trim. And you can see that it starts adding some, some dimension. Oh my god, what's happening? It starts adding some dimension uh, into it. Honestly, I just put a shit ton of lights here. So let me add another light. So. I'm just going to add lights. There we go. Okay, I think you can see the lighting better. Is it better in here? Can you see here? Okay, you can see it. The door trim is coming along, and then I can add stuff to the edges here. And I'll probably need to bevel these edges so it can look cooler. Jiraj says, yeah, I'm doing okay, thanks. Uh, Well, good. I'm glad you're doing okay, you know? It's it's the holiday season, and, and it can be good or bad for, uh, you know, any number of us. I have five people watching, guys, so if you guys haven't said something in the chat, please do chat me up. Let's have fun here. Okay, cool. So then I'm going to continue, and I'm going to bevel out this edge so it looks cooler. So I all I did was like click, uh, alt-click the edge there, hit control uh, B, and now we're getting what we want here. So there we go. I think that looks a little bit more sci-fi. Um, and I mean, I feel like it's missing a lot. Probably these hallways are missing a bunch, but uh, anyway, this corridor's it's coming along. And I think what bothers me is this bottom half. Like, do I want to delete it? Do I? Let's see. Let me solo this thing. I can't. Can't tell. Let's see if what happens if I delete it. We'll delete the faces. And then I'm going to flatten these out. And a cool trick to flatten these out is if you just select the whole thing, like Alt-click the edge. I'm going to shifting Alt-click for this one as well. Uh, I hit, uh, what I do is I hit S and then Z and then 0. And that flattens it out for me. So then I have control over that. I'll unsolo it so we can see it in action. And we're going to grab it up. There we go. So there. Te now there's th there's not some weird thing underneath or anything like that. Trigby, sorry, I'm working. Uh, I like having your stream in the background. Oh, Trig Trigby, no no problem. I'm just I'm just talking here, man. You do your work. Anything you can share? What you're working on? Is it still? Was it? Was weren't you working on an animation for your school or was well, something like that, right? Or is that Jiraj? Getting confused. I just joined, so is this Spitfire Project or something else? Because it looks uh, some different. It's still the Spitfire Project, uh, Jiraj. So what I did was I redid the whole room. I'll turn it on for you, for you to see it. So, you know, I have all the decals. We got the peoples. Um, the decals here. The room. And it's the room before going into the other room. So... For efficiency, I started using an add-on called Decal Machine, right? Uh, and it's connected to this lab. So it's the lab is still here. You see, it's still colorful, still beautiful and stuff. But I'm just working on the first... Uh, the lab is the second scene, right? So I'm working on the first scene, which happens right here in this room. And right now, it looks really like, I don't know, super realistic and stuff. But I'm eventually going to be coloring these to match more of these colors. So it could be a little bit more stylized for the animation. Um... And, oh, Trigvi didn't share his work. Jiraj shared his work. My bad. Um, anyway, so uh, so Spitfire is going to be drawing over these scenes. 
uh this looks obviously like a 3d model and stuff but all this stuff is just a uh, 2d planes like they're not even really modeled on there or anything uh that's the best part of this decal machine watch if i just turn this off oh man why isn't it going away hold on oh these decals there it is so if I just erase the decals, this is just a flat room with like nothing in it. You know, it's like super plain, super nothing. But with the decals, which are just planes, you can see that it adds in a lot of that, 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 that flavor, you know. Uh, this decal, I need to. Need to delete these decals. One second, guys. Uh. Still do okay. I think we're back to where we were anyway. Okay, now I recognize it. Man, nice progress since last time. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Trick V says, I'm currently working on some VFX stuff. That's pretty cool. So, like, live action. Are you doing it in Blender? Like, VFX, like, live action or VFX, like, particles and sims and stuff? Because I love VFX, man. That's, like, that was, that used, that was a majority of my jam for a long time. All right. Where'd my decals go? Oh, here are my crates. I don't know if you saw the crates, but where'd my decals go? Oh, here it is. Oh, man, this is like... There we go. There we go. There we go. We're back. We're back. These are the crates. Oh, I should get rid of these crates. They make the room unselectable because that's killing me right now. Okay, good. My room's unselectable. We'll erase the... We will make the decals unselectable. Okay, there we go. Uh, Turgi says, I'm using grease pencil to paint over two people high-fiving. That's pretty cool. I'm using the sculpt function to cover them frame by frame. So are you doing like every single frame? Or are you like animating on the twos or the threes or the fours? Like, are you going like literally, you know, frame by frame? <laughs> okay, cool. So this guy's here looking, looking, looking snazzy, looking like a good guy. I think that's a good size for the door. Um, and I have to now replicate this on the other side. But I think I'm going to cheat. I'm just going to copy all this stuff to the other side and uh, do it that way. So also, let me turn off this this lab. This lab is like way too intensive. Lab. Okay. Trigby says, and then I'll use that animated mask as a holdout texture to make some particles float around the people. I'm working with a 25 frame per second live action video that's pretty awesome man how long how long how long you think it's gonna take you is it, gonna, is it taking a long time do you have any pain points you want to share with the class <laughs> any any tips any things we should avoid for anybody doing any sort of frame by frame masking <laughs> okay so let's let's copy the same thing on the other door let's uh erase these crates well not erase them but make them invisible uh and we will bring him across the street boom and then we'll start doing this wall so let's make this decal these decals invisible but i think we're going to do the same thing so let's see if i can do this so we'll make the decals invisible or at least just the right side right wall okay yep it takes way too long yeah frame by frame takes forever it's not not a fun 
I mean, it's fun at the end, but when you're doing things frame by frame, I mean, like, I can't wait till AI takes over and just does that for us because it's it's kind of like the most tedious work you can do rotoscoping or like frame by frame. Okay, guys, I'm going to just uh, copy this wall over since it's all connected. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make these lights unselectable so I don't accidentally select these lights. I'm going to see if I could just grab this wall here. Can I grab this wall? Why can't I grab it? Oh, it's because it's the room. Okay. So right now, this this hallway and wall, it's all connected, isn't it? Isn't it? Okay, the whole thing is connected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate it by hitting P. See if that ruined anything. It did. It ruins my decals. Um. Well, let me do it again. Let me remove. Let me separate it. You can see that the decals like kind of get like this weird color. Let's see if I can get these decals. If I can select it. Select these decals. Can I move them so they work? No, they don't. It's so weird. Is it because? Okay. So we're going to go back. We're going to do this a long way. And, you know, for anybody who was watching, they'll get to see it again. And you can see it one more time. Trigby, I'm just experimenting now, but I'm figuring out the process for the future. Jiraj. But this hand-drawn fx over live action is in my humble opinion one of the best looking vfx so definitely worth it i hope i'll be able to try it myself one day and yes like i said it is a lot of hard work i'm not knocking how good it looks man but uh, it is a lot of hard work but it is worth it at the end so i agree i agree it kind of reminds me of any like the movies uh waking life or uh scanner darkly or uh there's more movies in there that have done this <laughs> But it reminds me of those type of things where, like, you get, like, a beautiful piece of work at the end. All right, so let's do, the, let's do the same thing we did on the other side. I could do it a lot faster. So I'll hit Y. We'll separate it. We'll cut it in half. Boom. We'll bevel it. B, and we did it at 1, if I remember correctly. Okay, and then when we cut it, maybe we can use this as a reference. We'll cut it. Oh, shoot. We will cut it across, and we will line it up. Let's line it up with this. So I could do that. You can see that I can line it up with the one in, from the other side. So that's cut. That's lined up. And now I think I can get the beveled points. So I'm going to go to vertice, vertice mode, choose these two uh, vertices, and then do, I think it's Control Shift B. So let's do that again. And see, it bevels out these squares. And I more or less have the same thing I have on the other side. And there. Okay. Cool. So there's our door. We'll select our door. We'll separate it. Oh, no. We'll extrude it. That's what we did wrong the first time. We'll extrude it out. So now we got the T, T shaped here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We'll go back. It's looking pretty sweet. And then since we made this, uh, this like rail, the, the, the door trim, we'll just copy it again. So we'll hit shift D. I'll rotate it on the Z axis by 180. Boom. And we'll move it on the X right back right here oh it's gone hold on grab x oh, thank you. grab x there so we got our trim there beautiful so we already did that way faster now i'm just going to copy these decals over to the other side so let's do that uh let's see blah blah blah, blah. grease pencil is awesome oh wait you said something else. What? Trick V. I tried to use a circle with 16 vertices and hook attached to each vertices. Then I used proportional editing to... 
drag around the hook frame by frame and that was faster but not as accurate true i like the grease pencil method better it is a lot of fun uh grease pencil is awesome for sure not this channel though <laughs> you're funny you're funny george i'd love to watch it i'd love to watch it handy says plug sorry handy aren't you isn't handy just trig v right oh that's my other channel if you're wondering yes okay that's what, yes handy handy and trig v are the same person guys yeah still can't access it though <laughs> all right so let's copy the decals over and we'll make the room unselectable because it's really annoying so this is the room base make it unselectable this is called room base, but it should be really called room large doors, large doors. Great. And then we get the other one. Uh, this is called room. We're going to call it door room door trims. Great. Always name your layers. Super important. If you don't name your layers, I I don't know what to what to tell you when you're upset later on. I've been upset many a times when you're not organized and you're like, I'll deal with it later. And then you're like in a project, knee deep in it, trying to figure out, looking for something and everything's just named solid two, null two. There's nobody to be mad at but yourself. Name your layers. It's my, my daily PSA and save. Let me save. <laughs> okay, cool. So we got our door trim. This one could be dot zero zero zero. Great. This one could be dot zero zero one. Great. Got our door trims, our door base, our door large door. Great. So then how how can I select my decals? One second. So I'm gonna just copy these decals over. So let's copy this. So uh, it's me. Oh, I see. You can't click on the icon. Sorry, Grease, for plugging myself. Oh, I don't care. Plug yourself. Do whatever. Nothing on yet, but I have a few tutorials planned. All pretty original. What uh, what type of tutorials? What can we what can we look forward to on the Handy Channel, Chick V or Handy, whatever your name is? <laughs> All right. So we're copying this. I'm going to just Shift D, move it across, and I'm just going to rotate them uh around 180 degrees so rotate z 180 so you see they're invisible now because you can't see them through the back and then i'll just bring it right against the wall so let's do that boom and then we'll bring back our what is this the right wall right wall but then we'll have to delete some of these hold on let me delete Deletes. Great. I think I'm going to delete these bottoms as well. Boom. Oh, what the hell? Deletes. There we go. And then I'm just going to copy these from the other side. Motion graphics is what I'll mostly be covering first, both abstract and also, what would you call it? Infographic type stuff. <laughs> I guess we can expect a lot of handy tutorials. <laughs> oh man, you guys. Okay. So copying these across, it's pretty basic stuff. But like I said, the other half, the, the last half of this uh, stream, I'm going to be switching gears and just doing, seeing, uh, seeing some drawing, doing some actual grease pencil work. So stick around if you're, if you're up for that, that 2D animation. All right. So we're copying these across, rotating them. 
Grab on the Y. There we go. Okay. I'll probably have to shift this whole door over. It's kind of weird, but anyway, got my doors there. <laughs> I started a third YouTube channel called Candy. Handy, Candy, and Trig V. Trig V. Okay, I think, I think we're good for the doors. We'll bring back our crates and make sure that our crates work out. So we'll probably just get rid of this large crate here. That'll probably help out. Maybe add a third one of these. Maybe make a smaller one. There we go. There we go. So we got some doorways. Hallway stuff going on. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Jirash, by the way, Greece, are you free for a game in Rocket League anytime next week? Yes, I will let you know. It'll be during the weekdays, Monday through Friday. But I will I will message with you. Oh, Susan sent me another email of the alpacas. Let's see what they look like. Let's see. Let's see, guys. Oh, man. I got to do I got to do a side by side. So cool. Hold on. So what Susan's working on, guys. Okay, so what Susan Susan did is that in 3D or in Blender, she made the paper models, right, in Blender. But then, hold on, let me, hold on, let me put them side by side. So then she printed you printed them out, right? And you and you and you put them together. Oh man, Susan, that's awesome. I think that's great. That's a great fun use of Blender. Oh no, I can't see my chat. There it is. That is excellent use. So yeah, so she did she she modeled it in 3D and then she exported out with an add-on that's built into Blender into the paper model and then put it here. And then she cut, printed it and cut it. That's so cool. And you can like make like little sets and stuff. That's a lot of fun to, to do. Oh, yeah. Great job. Great job, Susan. So awesome. <laughs> Great use of Blender. Bringing Blender to the real world. Cool. So we got uh our hallways down, looking looking sweet. Um, you know I might just switch gears. Switch gears here and start drawing. Let's see. One second. Jiraj. Yes, that's what I was actually saying to Susan that you could probably get do an animation, do it. I mean, this would be a long, hard, tedious process, but like you do an animation, get do it all in Blender, print out all the pieces, have all the different like frames of the characters, and then you could do a stop motion. It would be like amazing. Uh, a whole, whole lot of work, but pretty amazing. <laughs> All right, uh, we've got our door. I need to be put some more fiddly bits on there, but I don't know. I be, I really am itching to try this uh this tablet here. It is a cool idea, but it is also an idea that's like 
very hard and long and intense and tedious. <laughs> Okay, so let's switch gears. I'm going to save this. So right now, how long have I been streaming? Trigby says, how long will the stream go on? How long have I been streaming? Let's see. So I've been streaming for an hour. So I would say, I guess one more hour, right? So I'm going to switch gears and start doing some drawing. I got this uh, new screen tablet. And then maybe you guys can, can, can I don't know, you can chat while I, while I draw and figure out how this tablet works. So let me switch gears here and let me uh one second i'm gonna close this blender to the animation um all right one second guys i'll be right back i'll, I'll actually keep talking so you can hear me but all I'm doing is switching around my screen stuff. So one second. Right. Putting in my chat. There we go. Moving it over. Copy. I'm still here, guys. Just trying to figure out uh, this switch over let's see hold on computer properties oh, what the hell my properties windows in this corner Hold on, maybe if I did this. Let's, let's hope the stream keeps going. Okay, okay. All right, hold on, hold on. S still going, guys. Switching over. Oh, man. Still here. Hopefully this doesn't stop. Don't want to lose you guys. Oh, man. I'm trying. I'm just trying to add my second screen here. Yeah, I'll probably go for, uh, yeah, guys, I'll probably go Jiraj and Trig V. I'll probably go for another hour, hour and a half. Uh, right now, I'm trying to switch screens here. But it's giving me a lot of, a lot of pain. Oh, my God. Let's see, is it, would it work if I did add source? Uh, 
Well, this may work. All right, I think I got it, guys. I think. <laughs> All right, hold on. I think I got it. Okay, okay. I think I'm back. I can read the chat now. Let me get my glove on, and then I will read the chat, and I'll let you know my thoughts about that. Ah, oh, there we go. Full screen. Looking good. Beautiful. Okay, we're here. Can does this is work? Yes. Yes. All right. And let's see. I'm going to be looking down a lot. Would it be better if the camera was like, oh my God. <laughs> Maybe this is not the right way to do this. Maybe this is a bad idea. Cause I'll be looking down like this. Hold on, this is in my way. Yeah, the new tablet was a Christmas uh, present. My brother-in-law, my friend gave it to me. That's an unflattering angle, honestly. Okay. All right. Uh, let's read the chat. The chat. Cool idea. How long would the stream go on? I believe you know, so I'll stream for another hour, hour and a half. Uh, any tips on upcoming YouTube? We're just getting out on plan spending so much time on your channel. YouTube is a lot of fun though, but I, but I'm curious to hear what, uh, you learn from making YouTube videos and streams. Okay, so what I learned from making YouTube videos and streams is that the the content that people like, right, the content that people really enjoy are going to be the content that helps them. Because for in the beginning, what I wanted to really do was to like uh, make more like art stuff and animations and stuff. But that's a lot tougher when you're learning. So like my 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 most my most used, uh, or my most, my most viewed videos are the f top five, 10 tips and stuff like that. So if you're looking for views and stuff, that's what you have to be going to the educational route except with blender. But if you don't care about views and stuff, then I would just say, make what you want, you know, like, and the whole thing with the algorithm with YouTube is that it is, um, it's about consistency, you know, and having, stuff coming out at least on a semi consistent basis when i was doing things consistently like i would release a video on wednesday release a video on friday every wednesday every friday every wednesday every friday uh i i saw more my videos being seen more but then when i started taking long breaks and stuff my videos were seen less but i mean that's not a bad thing if your goal like i said if your goal is to your goals really sh like it shouldn't be about growing like my end goal is so 
is that I want to and be able to pay my bills with some of the stuff I do online, you know, that's my end goal. But if that's not your end goal, then yeah, just make a channel, do whatever you want, make a thumbnail, put the put the tags, blah, 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 blah. And just know that people are going to watch, you know, first of all, there's millions of hours of YouTube being seen or being uploaded. So first of all, you have to be seen. And then when you're seen, what people really respond to are quick tips and educational stuff when it comes to blender you know what i mean and then when it comes to like animating then your stuff just has to be you know good and consistent so you just have to make it despite no views it, like you having no views you having no subscribers shouldn't be a part of the equation on whether you're going to be making videos making youtube and stuff so that is i think what i learned about youtube and stuff but if you have any specific questions, please ask. I'm just going to try and do some drawing here. Hold on. Right. All right. Let's see. Let's test out this tablet. Draw some nice little circles. Yeah, consistency is key, but I, I also wouldn't live and die by that. You know what I mean? Like, consistency is key, once again, is if you're trying to grow your channel and you care about those numbers a lot, you know? But if you just care about making your, your work and doing your work and you're not trying to make this pay the bills, you know? then i don't know i don't think you should focus on that so much you should just make the video how you know make videos how you want to make them i think it's very important i think people get lost in the hustle and trying to like get a scheme going or whatever <laughs> breaking news grease spends uh grease monkey demonetized for revealing truth about youtube algorithm <laughs> My day job, I what I do is I, I manage social media accounts for a, a big company. And we go through seminars where YouTube comes talk to us. Facebook comes talk to us. And they tell us, like, directly and how this stuff works. And a lot of it's not, like, it's not anything fancy. Okay, so, or five-minute crafts, exactly. So, and then Trigby's like, what is your thought process before making planning a tutorial so making tutorials for a long time was a a hard thing to figure out for me because i never knew what i was um what was useful to share and what wasn't sometimes I, f I feel like oh everybody knows this but honestly if you have any sort of like um little tip like oh man i all i had to do was set this setting i don't know make a quick video of it that's why i started doing the quick the quick uh the what is it the quick bit series Quick tips, sorry, quick tips. That's why I started doing the quick tips series was because um, I just, th these are like little things that I think everybody knows. And then sometimes somebody's like, oh, I didn't know that. And I'd be like, all right, cool. So that's that's something. So then I share it. So I think you should just share everything you can, anything that you would find useful, you know, and sometimes that can be like, um, hold on, I forgot my buttons here. There it is. Um, so, you know, anything that you find useful, but honestly, even if you don't, it just, I don't know, any little quick tip. A lot of those quick tips, when I look at those uh, those channel, when I look at those videos, I'm like, oh, doesn't everybody know this? Doesn't everybody know how to make a palette? Doesn't everybody know how to set their startup file and things like that? But they don't, you know? So what I'm trying to be is I'm trying to be like a... A beginner's educator because i'm just starting to learn how to you know draw myself i know i've used blender for years doing 3d so 
I know a lot. I know what a lot of the buttons do, and I know how the things function in Blender. So I'm just trying to be the educator. So you have to ask yourself, like, what do you want to do? Do you want to be a tutorial maker? Do you want to? Is your what you get out of it? Is it like the joy of like? you know, sharing this information, or do you want to make animations where people are like, wow, your animations are so cool. Cause if that's what you want then make animations and post them, you know, uh, I have a little bit of both. I want to do tutorial stuff and, you know, make animations and stuff. Oh, Spitfire is here. I Spitfire. I just switched. I just, uh, I just switched over to, to doing trying, trying this drawing, but let me show you, the the how it's looking and then Jake said i actually plan to on only making very thoughtful and well planned out videos so that my channel is almost useful to all the subscribers and that's really good but just know that you you may be putting in a lot of work and that video won't pop off or anything or have any views and then you just do some throwaway video and that's the video that that pops off but yeah no definitely make good make good tutorials is it still streaming Still going? Okay, I guess it is. Okay, great. Um, so Spitfire, look, I was working on the hall. So I just started making the halls, but then I got so excited to, um, I got so excited to use this tablet to start drawing in it. So going through the halls, Okay, uh, I don't plan on becoming a YouTuber. I just want to make good tutorials that don't waste people's time. Not that that's wrong to make quick videos. Uh, why? I'm hungry. I'm a hungry boy and I need my daily dose of Blender content. <laughs> it's so relatable. Uh, Susan, you say why? I'm not sure what you're saying why to. Uh, I don't but yeah put put a lot of put, put effort into into those videos trick v i i awesome do it make the content you want to make that's the first rule honestly yeah so uh i got real excited to start working on on drawing on the tablet but getting that down uh, i still haven't modeled any any of the stuff that's going out or the door i'll probably be doing that later but we got the doorways going um and some stuff move door stuff around they're they're off by like millimeters and it kind of bothers me but like i don't think you you can tell that much i hope <laughs> then i'll start adding more stuff at the top there but Man, it's kind of weird uh, using Blender with the tablet, like doing the three. I'm so used to using a mouse. So used to using a mouse that like this is like throwing me off. I feel very less fast with it. I'm sure I get used to it. But it's like throwing me off. All right, let me try. Let me try this screen out. I'm real excited about this. Let's see if I have. You guys can watch me uh, and feel good about yourselves and how how good you guys draw because of how how much work I need.
Oh yes, I think I I think I did that. I I was doing this for some reason, <laughs> but yeah, I could definitely do that. Let's see if I can let's see if I can draw something, huh? You guys can watch me fail at this drawing, and then I'll just go back to my little three D environment hole where I feel comfortable. <laughs> Some basic hair, you know, some typical stuff. Oh man, this tablet's pretty cool. I feel a lot better. Juraj, and in the moment, Grease Monkey, with the power bestowed upon him by his new tablet, put us all to shame. And Spitfire says, Juraj, can't click on the link. What's the YouTuber's name? Yeah, what's his name? So I can follow him. Let's see, Drash, Pepe School Land. Ah, yes, Daniel Lara, the king. Let me check out Daniel Lara. Yes, Trigby, it's the Spitfire. The Spit, the one and only Mr. Spitfire Storyboard. <laughs> He's great, man. But Mr. Spitfire is very high profile. You uh please reserve your questions. There'll be a there'll be a ballot box in the corner here of the channel to ask uh questions for Mr. Spitfire. <laughs> <laughs> Trick me. way bigger than you, Grease Monkey. Oh, most definitely. Uh, haha, what an intro. Yeah, Daniel Lara is one of the main developers for Grease Pencil, and he did the Incredible Heroes short. Oh, yes. Most people are bigger than me, Trick V. I'm just here for the, the good times. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll be, maybe I'll be, maybe one day I'll be your hero, Trick V. Maybe one day. <laughs> maybe in a couple years. I'll forget about you and I'll forget about all the little people watching. <laughs> So funny. Anyway, this is this app is a lot of fun. 
a lot of a lot of fun to do really uh shows you how much i can't and cannot draw like or can and cannot draw because um i definitely need a lot of practice you know and i'm putting it all out there guys this is for you no it's for you to feel better once you get better than me you can just look back at grease monkey and be like man i'm better than that guy i'm better than that guy with 500 subs where are my 500 subs? <laughs> Spitfire is, is soon becoming a legend. He's on his way up. He's talking to people. He's one of the people who's like, let my people call your people. This nigga's terrible. What is this? Already in my eyes. Try giving. I have a Discord. Link on my profile. Cursor Snapper. Definitely check out Spitfire's Cursor Snapper thing. Very cool. And check out his Discord. His Discord is popping. He has... It's very intimidating, actually. It's very, like... All these people who are, like know way more than anybody in there but that's the best way to learn is to surround yourself with people who know definitely check out uh chigvi it key so auto correcting to try giving key so try giving This looks terrible, but it's fine, guys. Oh, I didn't put this on another layer. I'm terrible. Did I? Oh, I did. I did. All right, let's see. Hey, I remember having a difficult time understanding your website and add-ons page. I wanted to try that storyboard add-on. Autocorrect is ducking up my messages. I understand. Metric V, join that Discord.
Oh man. It's fun stuff here. Let's use that. Let's make her a white lady. Oh man, guys. I'm loving this tablet. I may not draw super well, but I definitely feel like I can one day. Gives me hope. Jump into the Zeus Kome. Autocorrect ducking out messages. That sounds like an interesting idea for a little fan art. Is there a message I'm not seeing? I don't think so. Go to my community or about page for the link in the Discord. It's that's what you mean. Uh did you write what you wanted to write, Spiffar, or did autocorrect autocorrect your message out of existence? All right, uh, Spitfire. So line quality, good. Yeah, I did. Uh, Spitfire, I did the thing you did. I, you told me to. Oh, I, I thought I had this off. You told me to turn everything off, right? You don't, Spitfire. You don't use any of this, right? For, for the, for the stuff, right? Like any of this input sample and stuff. I think that that's helpful, right? Or do you do have it on? I don't know. <laughs> what are the settings do you, do you switch Spitfire? So you, you take everything off. So you take input samples off. You put active smoothing off. Do you have post processing on? I usually keep that on, right? Cause that, or do you keep it all off? Like all, all off. Like. All right, cool. So I'll switch it all off. So let me do it again. Advanced zero, zero, zero. Stroke post processing off. Okay, so everything's off. I'll, I'll do it this way for now.
See, yeah, so should all off. It's good to have it on if you want super simple, clean curves, but uh, not if you want to draw for real. I don't recall what I have off at the moment. Uh, you may like the smoothing, though, if you like that extra kind of assist. I also changed the sensitivity in the preference in the preferences. Nothing on your website and website and the link in your YouTube channel is invalid. Hold on. Let me see if I can pull that link up for you, uh, Spitfire and Trig V. I think I might be able to find it. Anyway, try that link for the Discord. All right, let's have some fun here. I say one more and then I, I gotta go. I guess. Uh, yeah, I think, I think I can hold that. Thing. Er, it keeps uh, expiring even though I set it for forever. I'll look into it. Chick V. Mizumeki on the server. That's awesome, right? I think, yeah, like I said, um, Spitfire's uh, Discord is awesome.
so many like great people on there. It's cause Spitfire's a is what you call a connector. He's a he's the no he's the knowing man. He knows knows who knows all knows. He knows it all. He knows who to talk to, where to get it, and if he doesn't, he'll find out for you. Well, I'm getting so focused on this. Uh, yeah, man, how do you do it? You, you, how do you reach out to people and find them? Did you just reach out to all of them and send them links, or did they just join on their own? Because it's pretty crazy. So you're your true inspiration. Thanks for letting me join. I try and share my TD projects in the future. Spitfire. Both. Some are from the link on the cursor snapper, etc. Some are from personal invites. That is awesome. If anything, I think uh, Spitfire is doing it right, guys. He's. I'm over here just trying to, to, to catch up. <laughs> He's doing it right. Connecting, talking to people, really being part of the community. I think it's a big deal because surrounding yourself with people that are like way better or, you know, better than you and other aspects of stuff, you know, it could be, it's very good. It's very enlightening. Humbles yourself. You get humbled. Ah, Spitzbar says, 
I'm very new to Discord, but it's good. Yeah, you're new to Discord, but you're like killing it, dude. You're like killing it. I've been chatting with quite a few people recently about various aspects of Blender and the whole pipeline. I think in 2021, it's all going to come together for boarding. Woo! That's awesome, man. I'm excited for you. Things are so good. Or excited for us, you know, even for everybody. We're all going to be getting getting some benefits out of this stuff. Yeah, storyboarding. Spitfire is very good at that. Very good at boarding, animatics. <laughs> now skateboarding i i tried to convince spitfire to do some uh skateboarding but he just he is uh he didn't wanna he don't wanna <laughs> that's great i could really use it actually about now although who knows maybe those two all right i was thinking maybe that that's good yeah 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 well, I'm glad, uh, I'm glad everybody's meeting each other here. It's real nice. Uh, right. How long has it been, guys? Let's see. <laughs> Daraj, what do you, what do undo? What do undo? I'm sure that's like an autocorrect, right? So it's probably like, what do you do? And what do you want to do with the You see, Greece, you're a part of the people who know people who know people. <laughs> yes, that's what I feel like. If anything, I'm the I'm the guy, right? I'm the connect the connector. No, I'm just kidding. I just um, but yeah, yeah. yeah. I I when when Spitfire messaged me, I was uh just as ecstatic as you were in the chat. It was very cool. Especially since I'm just starting out in all this uh, grease pencil stuff. Or 2D art, I should say. I've been doing 3D forever.
No uh, PP, no VP. Uh, will be an extension. Blah, blah, blah. Ed White storyboard add-ons or Cursor Snapper add-on, mate. I'm getting confused again. Are the these comments I'm not seeing? Who's Ed White's? No, I don't think there's tricky. I don't think there's any comments you're missing. I think Spitfire wants to know what add-on you're talking about when it comes to the add-on that you said you're excited for. You said I'm excited for that add-on, and he, I think. Spitfire is saying, what add-on? Are you talking about the Snapper add-on or the Ed White storyboard add-on? I think there's two add-ons. I think that's where the confusion is happening and stuff. Oh, and then yours. Yes, and it's, there's one that you couldn't get working or you needed help with. Which one? <laughs> I'm confusing you with Ed White. I feel that this this feels like deja vu, guys. I feel like we have confused uh, Spitfire for multiple people <laughs> in past streams as well. I think last time it was the duos, the duos, the does. Yes, that's pretty funny. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to call it. Uh, I did a little bit of work for the environment Spitfire. Wanted to test out this this uh, tablet. So, you know, I did I did what I wanted to do. I think I'm going to be doing some more drawings, get better at this grease pencil drawing stuff, do some animations so I can finally put some animation videos on my YouTube channel. Uh, uh <laughs> on Steam. Uh, anyway so i'm gonna end this stream here did a little bit of work uh i did a lot of work last night so that's why i'm a little my eyes hurt a lot so definitely go on that discord guys go on spitfires discord check them out check out his chat there's some there's some people in there you'll be amongst legends and myths and and and, and, and greek or whatever country they're from gods anyway uh yeah so check out his discord thank you guys for joining me you guys have been great i really appreciate um you know I am he <laughs> Spitfire is just multiple people. He has multiple accounts and he's running a whole uh you know a whole archetype of people. Everybody in that Discord is actually just him. He has multiple accounts. He just wants you to feel like you're amongst more people. Susan, thank you for joining us or joining me. Once again, another Saturday. Hopefully it was entertaining. Thank you for showing me your uh, paper cutouts. Thank you for showing me all your stuff. I am a vessel for all art and blender creativity. So maybe if you want to use the word that tool word, yes. But aren't we all tools in the architect of life? We're all just cogs in a machine. Anyway, 
uh see you guys <laughs> have a great one um and uh i hope you have a great night guys and a great day thank you for joining me today once again these goodbyes are like an hour long i'm sorry take care have a good one bye susan bye trigvi bye spitfire bye Jiraj. bye whoever else is in here take care <laughs> bye